just happen that way because when I eat meat and meat only, I don't have that problem. What's up, beautiful people? Losing Dre here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. I don't know. I would say happy August, but I'm hoping it's going to be a happy one. July sucked. At least the end of it sucked, too. Air is still, I don't know. I um, just woke up. <clears throat> so, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that uh, moving forward, y'all know I ain't doing any more challenges. I'm just not. I mean, I'm, every day is a challenge. So let me get that straight. This isn't an easy ride. But nothing in life that you want that is worth having is easy. I found that out a long time ago. I've been working since I'm a, a little girl. And um, I don't know. You know, sometimes I just feel like I need a break. You ever just feel like you need a break sometimes and you just want to run away from adulting? Don't want to do it anymore? Just want to give up and throw in the towel? You just can't. You can't. You can't go back to being a kid, and you can't just dump all your problems and your responsibilities and all that. I mean, especially when other people rely on you. And I don't know about any of you guys, but I find that completely stressful sometimes because I just wish that I was alone on a deserted island and nobody was around me to ask me to help them to do anything so that I could really just relax because I have people in my life that they need me. And it's okay to be needed and loved and all that good stuff. But <clears throat> there's a fine line between I believe that I was put in this world to help people. And so I help as many people as I possibly can. But there are times when I feel like, who's helping me? What about me? What about Drea? And a lot of it has to do with emotions. A lot of it has to do with hormones and emotions. A lot of it has to do with Aunt Flo hormones and emotions. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going through it this time around really bad. Um, but at least I'm sleeping. I am getting a little bit of sleep. I've been going to sleep around 10-ish at night. I say 10-ish. Because it's somewhere either before or after. And I know as soon as my head hits the pillow, I'm out. And that's not like me. I gotta say that. Normally, I'm having a hard time. I'm on my phone. You know, this, that, that. No, I've just been right out. Uh, I might get up once, twice, go pee-pee. Just kind of depends on how much I've been drinking. Speaking of drinking, I lost my water somewhere. And yes, I did say water. I know for many of you who've been watching me a long time, you know that I do my keto sweet tea. Uh, well, you know what? I woke up today and I need to not do any sweeteners for a few days. I need to not do any sweeteners for a few days. I need to lay off of the zero carb uh, that has grain in it, bread, because it's the grain that's killing me. I know it. Uh, I mean, I had... And when I came on to the last video, I had some breaking out going on here on my face. And yeah, I know it's that time of the month or time of the third month. I don't, I don't know what to call it. But uh, I always get dry patchiness and whatnot if I have like too much dairy and or I'm eating things that my body doesn't like. And I'm pretty sure, you know, as a result of it, I had way patchy skin to the point where I was picking at it. And so I get it up in here in my T-zone. And I get it sometimes up in my hairline, especially right after I've colored my hair because I'm completely allergic, I'm sure, to whatever's in hair coloring. Um, and then on this side of my face, I have this uh, scaly dryness, patchiness, and it, and it kind of comes down here on the chin where I have a few whiskers too, Melanie. I hate that. So yeah, I've, I've dermaplaned my face uh, before, not, not, that, not that long ago actually, because I watched this video from this woman, she has a channel, uh, 50 and over, and I forget what it's called, but she was, you know, shaving her face and saying how, you know, makeup applies better and, you know, and it helps with any dry skin, and I found that that was true. I was able to get a lot of the scaliness off, but I have to scrub my face every single day, 
<clears throat> excuse me, or I have dry, scaly skin. It's just been that way ever since I'm about 16 years old. So I don't think it's menopause related, but having read what at least one of my viewers have shared with me, it's possible I'm having both because it was never as apparent or as much of as I have it now. I used to only get it on the sides of my temples and here in the creases of my nose. And then as I started getting older is when it started to come what up into my T-zone and then of course dyeing my hair. I've always dyed my hair, probably even when I was 16. But I, I noticed it in my hairline too. So <clears throat> I have to um, do some things to take care of those problemed areas and I don't even know why I went there. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure it has to do with the wheat. That's why I went there. <clears throat> I'm sorry if this video seems all over the place and I keep having to clear my throat. If I'm not able to edit that out, it's because um, I don't know what it is. I just woke up. Maybe that's what it is. Um, right at the moment, my body's telling me, you know what, go back to sleep. But that's not going to accomplish anything today. I realize that it is Sunday. It is actually August the 2nd. 2020 and I'm coming to you guys with a video uh, just a short little update my weight's going up and up and up but I know it has to do with flow and I'm just at a point right now where I really want to do daily videos but I had a hard time with that with the last challenge I just I don't know if it was just too much and then you know counting the points and turning the, the camera on all the time it's just I'm so not used to that I sometimes it's it's my phone and sometimes I'll just put my phone down and I'll walk away and then I'm not you know with it right in front of me I found myself eating stuff and then taking a picture of what I ate after I've already had a bite or two or, or a slice or whatever of something so you're not getting the whole picture and to me that's not being transparent and then, you know, even myself, I forget, oh, yeah, I had that one piece of bacon I didn't take a picture of. I mean, when I'm taking pictures of this stuff and whatnot that I have, it's not that, oh, okay, everybody wants to know exactly what I'm eating. I need to know exactly what I'm eating because I tend to forget and or I don't write it down or haven't written it down yet because I do usually keep notes. I mean, I live in post-it note hell. If I was to pan around and show you what, what, what chaos looks like for me, because you know, I can't do anything having OCD that I do unless everything is organized and straight and has a place and doesn't look out of place. Because if it looks out of place, then I feel uncomfortable and I cannot work when I feel uncomfortable. I can't do anything when I feel uncomfortable. So in order for me to get things done, and this includes cooking in my kitchen for you guys, if I do a cooking video or anything that I do, it has to be like next to damn near perfect. And I hate that I'm that way because I know a lot of people would say, we don't care, we love you as you are, just put it out there, something's better than nothing. Yeah, I, I've told myself that, I've heard it from a bunch of people, you know, y'all love me just the way I am. I mean, even people that come to my house, they know, you know, I think the reason people don't even attempt to come over and have me entertain anymore is because they know what trouble I put myself through in order to give them the best possible experience I can give. So when it comes to like cooking and the cleaning up beforehand, knowing companies coming over, and any of the things that need to be prepared prior to people coming over to my house, I am extra with it. And so things that normally probably take most people 20 minutes, you know, straighten out, do this and that, I am cleaning what's already cleaned and it's taking me hours because it's never good enough. And it used to be apparent when I first started recognizing that I had OCD and it seems like it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And the more that I think people notice that I'm clean and I do all these things, like let's say they'll make a, a comment to somebody else and say, Wow, Drea, you wouldn't even know she has six cats and two dogs. Her house is immaculate and it always smells clean and you don't even know that the animals are there unless they come out and they see you. That imprinted and stuck with me because now whenever I'm going to entertain or I think somebody's coming over, even if it's just a guy to come over and fix and repair something during no AC, 95 
degree weather outside. I'm sweating. Who wants to clean their house from top to bottom? I do. And so, yeah, it's like I'm, oh, I always have this fear that, oh, my God, they're going to, they're going to say that I'm dirty or they're, you know, and in these things, they fester in my mind and it drives me up a wall because I don't, I don't feel that it's normal behavior, but yet I wouldn't want it to be taken away from me. They were going to give me some pills at the doctor and the pills said that, you know, for everything, you know, took care of a myriad of different issues, but one of the issues was it helps with OCD. And I thought, okay, helps with OCD. I didn't really understand what that meant. But if it made me lazy and not care as much, I didn't feel I needed a pill to take something like that away. Because to me, that's a quality. That's, that's not, that's not a, an issue. It's not a problem. It's a, it's, if it's an issue and a problem, most people should have that. Because there's a lot of people that I personally know that don't have that and need to have that. Just my opinion, but that's because I'm so OCD. So while some people might be able to overlook certain things, I'm not always capable of overlooking certain things, and I might even see things that other people don't see because I have an eye for attention and details and perfection. And it's horrible, horrible, but yet not because people know they can like this stuff that's behind me here it's it's a box of those uh epic pork rinds with the Himalayan pink salt I brought it in here because there's a pig on the box and I love pigs of everything else that I love and collect but I know a box with a pig on it and then there's the blanket that's over the top of it which I don't want the dogs laying on and so I don't put it up over the back of the couch I just have it on the box and then down here we have the board that I created and I fixed it up for this month. Not that I'm doing a challenge or anything. Um, these are just some numbers that I hit within those months. I think I had done updates or something or other more towards the, the, the ends of the month that, you know, where I was, I was at 245.6 in May. But what I don't have on here is my goal is to get back to my lowest, which was 210. And I am struggling. And it seems like I backstep every time Flo does visit. And it's bad because it's like three months of not having her. Then she comes and she brings with her her damn baggage and her crime scene. And... Um, Everything that comes along with it, the emotions, the, the wanting to eat my feelings, you know, and it's, it always messes me up and I don't know how to not let her affect me. I don't know how to not open the door when the bitch comes a knocking, you know, I just, I want, I want to be rid of her. I'll be happy not to have her anymore. Um, I wasn't missing the cramps. Some, I wasn't getting them for a while when she was coming. She started getting regular again, and I wasn't having any cramps. And I thought, wow, this keto thing is really great because of the inflammation. I'm not getting all these cramps. Well, this last time, whew, guys, I don't know what childbirth feels like, but if that's what childbirth feels like, I got even more mad respect for you mamas out there than I ever did before. Just saying. So... I mean, it's good to know that I'm still a whole woman and I'm not like, you know, less than because I'm only 50 and I don't think that is the prime age for being even perimenopausal little or menopausal. And I don't even believe that I'm menopausal. It, it's, of course, I don't believe a lot of doctors with their traditional medicine anyways. And I know that a lot of other things that they thought were believed to be through so-called research has been debunked. So there's a lot of other things I have to wonder, especially scientifically when it comes to blood numbers and hemoglobin and hormones and all these different things. Like, what do they know? Really, what do they know? You know, you leave your life in the hands of others and look what happens. Look at our government. But be that as it may, Life goes on. I'm a champion. I'm a soldier. I'm going to soldier up and keep on going. I might not be losing weight at a pace that other people might think I should be. It might not even be at a pace that I think it might should be. 
but I'm not where I was pre October 11, October 2nd, 2011. I'm not where I was, like I said, even in May at 245.6. But today I got on the scale and I was 231 point something. And you know what, guys? Ugh. I know what I did. I know what I was doing while I was doing it. And I didn't care. I figured, let me just get through this little week of weakness. And I'll be all right. I'll come out on the other end. And I got a whole month to... But I don't want to gain back those pounds that I lost in June. I lost 16 pounds in June. 16 pounds in June, guys. From May 5th to June 3rd, I only lost 1.6 pounds. But for the month of June, I lost 16 pounds. And what did I do different? Absolutely no dairy. Strict intermittent fasting without an issue because I wasn't thinking about doing it. I wasn't planning on doing it. It just happened that way because when I eat meat and meat only, I don't have that problem. I was eating cabbage fried in butter and I was eating a lot of chicken more so than red meat. Thanks to jelly, fat to keto. And I lost 16 pounds. And she was losing some crazy mad weight too. Then she started adding cauliflower and stuff, and I know what that does to me gastro-wise, so we're, we're not going there. I'm not going to start something I don't need to, because if I start eating any kind of vegetables, I want to eat all kinds of vegetables. I do love vegetables. I used to love vegetables. I primarily would fill up on vegetables, and that's not saying that that's a bad thing for anybody. But it was a bad thing for me, and it became apparent when I started to remove the vegetables, and I started to see that some of, some of the symptoms that I were, was experiencing, especially after eating a meal or while during eating a meal, like the nose running and the, the, the face scaling and all that, it, 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 vegetables. So what that means for me moving forward is to try and not eat vegetables. I don't know that I'm going to be successful at it. There are just certain foods that are triggers for me. And vegetables being one of them because you think, okay, they're healthy. They can't hurt me that much. But, you know, to spend money on them and then not eat them anymore. Because, like, I'll, I buy them and I think I can get away with just a little bit. And then I have to eat that little bit in, you know keep eating it, keep eating it. My mom's doing this thing right now where she went for colonoscopy and she didn't get cleaned out enough, so they have her on like fiber and prunes. I've been eating prunes. <laughs> now, I don't need prunes, but they're sweet. They're delicious. Aldi sells them $3 and something for a bag. They were delicious. I bought them for her, so I said. But I got into them. I do like prunes. So that's where I'm at, guys. And this video is all over the place and it's rather long and it's because I just woke up and I really didn't know what to come on here with. But I had to come on here with something because I don't want to let my channel lag without at least a video, even if it's a short something every day. I might not do all the editing and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I needed to come on here and let you guys know what I'm up to because I'm really just letting myself know in a future self of me know <laughs> my future self know what what where I was at on this particular day so with that said be happy be healthy be beautiful but just be you be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey and I'll definitely be seeing each and every one of you guys in my next one bye guys be blessed Mwah.